Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chom here and welcome back after a very, very long time to another episode of our Pokemon Tournament Ranked Live. Now, I addressed it in the update video as to why there's been a long gap between now and our last Pokemon Tournament episode, and that's because I've been having some internet issues and disconnecting mid-match is never a fun time. And honestly, this game became impossible to play because my internet was being super strange or this game was being super strange. Not sure what it was. Either way, the issues seem to be resolved now. Hopefully, we can stay in their matches. If not, regardless, I want to put an episode out there because you Pokemon fans are awesome and I don't want to keep letting you guys down by not putting out videos. Either way, without further ado, let's jump into it. But hold on, there is some further ado because I have to address the fact that this episode, once again, we are playing as Charizard. Hopefully, that means things will go well for us. Charizard is one of our best characters. And now, without any more further ado, let's jump into our first match. Alright guys, so we found our first match, and very interestingly enough, this person is in rank C3. So an entire tier above us, quite scary, but they are um, only on a, at a 46% win-loss ratio, so we should be okay. We're two wins away from rank up, I had no idea we were actually in one of these sets of four to rank up. Hopefully we can actually come away with two wins in this episode, because if we do, that means we will get the fourth, um, we'll, sorry, we'll get the rank up. And if we don't, if we happen to get two losses, um, we're going to go for the full four and hopefully we'll actually manage to rank up. We'll see what happens. This could be a very special episode of Pokemon Tournament Rank Live because of the fact that we might level up. I hate Gengar and that attack, man. I'm surprised I connected. How'd that get me? Finally, we get an attack off. I was like not even saying words because I was like, I don't want to deal with this Gengar nonsense. We're doing all right though, for given that this thing is. We're doing all right, like I said, because this. And that should be the KO with that ridiculous grab from behind. I know I was really silent then, but I was just, I was just, I had no words. The fact this guy was sitting in the back of the map spamming ranged moves and a close range guard, basically, with the Shadow Ball. It doesn't matter though, we got Fennekin now. Hopefully Fennekin will come in handy. I'm not really sure it will, but uh, we need to, we need to make, we need to make an effort. That landed? Wow. This should be a free, yep. And that should be another free attack. So this should do a good amount of damage. And then I know exactly what we're going for next. We'll get up close. Why did that... Why did that break us out of our fire punch? And they're going to go for the double grab, as always. I've only ever seen one person not do the double grab. Because they actually had a better combo to use. Because they're not just boring. I landed my attack then. And this should do another good amount of damage. And I think it might be time for us to Synergy Burst. It's not, actually. And this will do another ridiculous amount of damage. And that KO'd. Wow. What an interesting first match. This guy was definitely the definition of a spammer. You guys saw his entire moveset that he used listed of Shadow Ball. Um, the Confusion uh, Double Grab. Which he only did once, surprisingly. And the... Um, what's that thing called? And the... Uh, Shadow Punch, the long-range version where it comes up behind them. Ridiculous, kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. I hate fighting people like that, but I kind of understand that's probably the best way to play Gengar. But I'd love to see people switch up their movesets a little bit more than that. It's more fun that way. Either way, let's move on to our next match, and hopefully we'll find someone who's having a little bit more fun, uh, playing a little bit more excitingly rather than in a corner. Either way, like I said, we'll see what happens, and I'll join you guys in our next match. Alright guys, so we found our next opponent, and it is going to be a Weavile at rank D5 with a 74% win-loss. That is very, very good. Um, they definitely played a lot less matches than us, but they're definitely a very strong fighter because we definitely did not get to rank D3 as early as they did. Either way, we're one win away from ranking up, and if we do manage to win this, of course, like I said, we will rank up. But of course, we will still have our third match just, you know, for fun. Because this series always comprehends composers. Comprehends of? Yeah, I think so. Always contains three battles. Okay, let's just use let's just use words that we can you know know what they mean. I get all flustered playing this game, 
And like, I'm probably the most, sorry, the least talkative in any series when playing this game. Wow, that cut me out of my attack. At that Fury Swipes combo, man. Ridiculous. This guy's good. Don't get me wrong, this guy's good. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just spamming a little bit. How did they not get hit by my attack? What was I doing? What was- What am I doing right now? I'm well played. We're doing so much damage though, so I can't complain about our foolishness. And there we go, the fire- The fire punch is always a good bet. Um, for the last hit. I don't know why, but if you watch the matches, go back. Go back and watch all the Charizard matches and tell me what percentage of times that I win the match using Fire Punch. Because I'm pretty, like, or at least the round. Because I'm pretty sure I end off rounds with Fire Punch more often than any other move. Maybe Seismic Toss as well. But in the later episodes of this series. That was really unlucky for my opponent then. I won't even lie. Wow. Again, with the turnaround grab. I love doing that because it looks so good. Alright, we're going for the combos. Is this going to hit? No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Is that a win? It can't be a... It, there's no way he's living that. What a win! Oh my goodness! Wow, okay, so... I want to preface this a little bit by saying I've, do, I've been doing a lot of friendly matches online due to the network issues I mentioned earlier. And I think doing friendly matches and going up against people in ranks like B and A have made me a lot better at this game. I'm really glad that's been happening. I'm really glad I've been keeping a little bit up with my practice in this game. Hopefully we'll be able to make it to D1 pretty soon and, and then make it to C rank and B rank and let's get higher than that. I'm very excited. I haven't been this excited in a Pokemon Tournament ranked episode in a very long time. And you guys can probably tell by the fact that I can't even maintain my voice normally. I'm just freaking out. Either way, guys, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. We made it to D2, which is a good time. And regardless of that, we're going to move on and have our third match because, like I said, we always do three, epi three episodes. God, I almost, I almost said it perfectly. We always do three matches in this episode. We always do three matches in episodes of this series. Okay, my brain is back together. Let's move on. Alright guys, so we found our final match this episode, and we're going against another Weavile, which is quite interesting. I don't like to have the same Pokemon featured multiple times in a match, but or in an episode, but this is ranked live. I can't change that. We put up the first three matches we have from starting the episode. That's what we always do. This, this Weavile is a much higher rank than our previous Weavile, and I believe they had a better win-loss ratio as well. They, I could be wrong. I forget already. Uh, but regardless, hopefully we can do well against this thing. Weavals all play really, really differently. There's a wide range of Weavile play styles out there. You know, you know, we saw the Gengar from the first time. I'm a little bit gutted that my move didn't come out. Whoa. I'm getting molested. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're not we're not trying to win anymore, we're trying to land one hit. There we go, we get our hit, now we can try and win. This won't hit, I'm too far away, never mind I lied. Okay, so we kind of threw away first round, I don't, I don't know if this will kill because of damage scaling, but it'll be definitely very close, and we do- wow, okay. What is that doing there? That could have gone much better. Okay, well we, we kinda we kinda got murdered the first round, but that's okay. That means we have so much opportunity to turn around this half. This half this this round. Very interesting. This guy plays really, really well. I know what I need to do. And I'm I'm kinda dipping. Like if I was playing if I was playing as um This guy's timing is impeccable. I'm I'm actually amazed. Dude, this guy. Please don't kill me. I want another chance. I want another chance. I want another chance.
Yes, this will connect. This should do a good amount of damage too. It definitely won't get us the win, but it'll it'll put him in a position where it will be very close. In fact, damage scaling might get us a W. Damage scaling, I love you. Oh my goodness, what a comeback. I was actually so I was getting upset in the back of my head because I was like, I don't want to end this episode with this destruction against us, but we somehow brought it back, and I think we need Fennekin, despite the fact that Amolga is maxed out, we need Fennekin. Damn it. Okay, this guy, this guy does really well to get. Nope, well played, well played by my opponent. What? What a, what a move. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what to do against that, that attack. Well played by my opponent. That was a good. That was a good round. I love that I managed to break them out of their attempt at using their burst attack. That was really cool. I don't know if you guys noticed it. I think it was after I countered his like kind of drill sky kick attack thing. Definitely a good match, and I love playing these matches where people really, really just rock my body. If 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 that if that makes sense, because getting fought like that by someone who really knows what they're doing. They know the down time. Like, they know the get up time to charge an attack. It was the second I get up, they'll hit me with a full charged X attack. That kind of stuff is really incredible to me. Either way, guys, I'll jump out of here and we'll go do our proper outro. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Pokemon Tournament Ranked Live. We were really lucky and didn't end up getting any kind of disconnections, so I'm really, really happy about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, of course. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more episodes like this in the future. Regardless, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.